Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you are all doing very well today. Today is March the 4th, Monday, and welcome back to another 10-minute daily update that I will ensure that you receive every single day. You will get a very detailed 10-minute update of exactly what you need to know and how the market has been trending in terms of Bitcoin and Ethereum and just generally speaking about the market from a technical perspective. This is going to help you stay caught up to the market every single day. So if you enjoy my content, I would appreciate a like, a comment, and a subscribe and let's jump right into it to not waste your time so right now bitcoin is absolutely going for the all-time high we see that bitcoin is absolutely trying to hit that sixty nine thousand dollar region in fact the first resistance was the original high in april when we first got that all-time high and everybody thought that okay this is it we actually ended up smashing above that sixty five thousand dollar region very easily i thought there would be hesitation but Fortunately, we smashed through it. So the only logical place for us to head to next is the next all time high, which is at around sixty nine thousand two hundred dollars. The halving is only about 42 days away. And with that in mind, it's very clear that we will be most likely challenging that all time high sometime before or right around that having event. There's no other way to see it. We must challenge it. But are we going to break it to another level that I'm uncertain about simply because usually when we get to the all-time high again, we don't smash it necessarily the first time. We tend to linger around it and then we have a small period of accumulation, just like during the halving event. During the halving event for the past two times in 2016 and in 20, we have historically held around that halving price range for roughly about two months. And then after that, we started to accumulate and then blast off. So you can see that in 2016, the halving period was on July the 9th and then around that period over here we ended up consolidating for a good period so you can see July there was a large dip after July but after that there was a huge consolidation period for roughly two months before we ended up breaking to the all-time highs and then in 2020 the halving period was around May and that was a little bit different over here and you'll see exactly what I mean so the halving period peaked around there and then we ended up consolidating this one was for a period of roughly 84 days before we ended up rallying and then breaking to the all-time high. So if I had to make a one case best guess right now, it would be that we would head to the all-time high at $69,200. And based off of history right now, we're likely to find a major resistance at this all-time high. And then we'll consolidate and accumulate for a period of roughly two months. So not April, not May, but maybe near the end of June or even July, that's more of a likely case for us to start a major bull trend. And that is probably the last time that you'll be able to accumulate as well, because after the halving period, after this accumulation period, every single coin starts to correlate positively to Bitcoin. And it's going to be really difficult to get into any type of altcoin after that. If I had to make a decision for myself or even tell my family or my really close friends is that you have to make a serious decision sometime around the Bitcoin having event because after that you're most likely not going to get another chance again so if we take a look at the total two over here which is showing you the market cap of the entire market cap minus Bitcoin we see that large drop yesterday that fell around four percent for all of crypto except for Bitcoin and then for total three which is for all of crypto except for Bitcoin and Ethereum this time it fell five percent but what you're gonna notice is is that total three ended up falling but now has more of a market cap and also total two has a higher market cap as well. So that's got to make you wonder what's going on. The entire market cap is definitely rising today because Bitcoin has now hit almost $67,000. And what we're seeing as well is that Bitcoin's market dominance is actually dropping by about almost 1% recently. So right around this time, you can see that the Bitcoin dominance drops, but the total three and the total two market cap 
cap percentages, they end up increasing as well. It's got to make you wonder, are people selling off their Bitcoins and starting to buy alts now? Whenever we see Bitcoin dominance drop very heavily to the downside, which we haven't seen yet, that was just for the past day. But when we do see a large drop, like how we did in 2021 for May, June and July, that's usually a very good signal that people are taking profits from Bitcoin and they're taking their capital and their profits and putting it into altcoins instead. And that's how the alt season begins. So right now we're not quite close to it yet, but we're most likely going to get to that region sometime later this year, in my opinion. And I think that the time is cutting very, very close for you to make a major decision of allocating some or even all. This is not financial advice, but this is personally what I would do based off of how the market cycles have been oscillating every four years so far. So we see that there's absolutely no resistance or no slowing down for Bitcoin. So when it gets to $69,200 all-time high, we've got to make a major decision about what to do. Are we going to hold on to our position? Are we going to sell our positions? What would be the best strategy? Well, think of it this way. There's two things you can really do. Well, three things. You can sell some of your position and hope that we drop and buy back lower, or you can sell all of your position and buy back lower if it drops, or you can just hold on to everything as well. And now if you actually weigh the risk for each one, okay, if you end up holding to your position and it actually does drop, what you're missing out on is the opportunity to buy at a much cheaper price and lock in some of your profits earlier. But if it goes to the upside, you did yourself a favor by holding and you minimize your risk and you made the right decision. But if you ended up selling some or even all of your position, you risk it going to the upside and not even dropping at all. And that's a very large risk to sell any of your positions before the phase three frenzy begins. Because if you sell it now, you will risk it going to the upside. And so many people make this mistake of selling a little bit early because they think that it's a top and they try to buy back a little bit cheaper because of their greed. So make sure that you're controlling your greed because if you don't and you try to sell early just so you can buy back a little cheaper, you're you're risking the fact that the altcoins and bitcoins could skyrocket to the upside and unfortunately you'll have to buy back into your position at a much higher price so those are definitely some of the things that you should be considering as well in terms of ethereum there's absolutely nothing that's going to stop ethereum right now we are now at the major resistance from march two years ago but I don't think that Ethereum is going to stop there because the spot ETF is very likely to get approved and the deadline is roughly May the 23rd right now. So Ethereum is performing extremely well against the market. Ethereum is rallying with Bitcoin as well right now. So we can expect these gains to continue. And even if Bitcoin ended up falling down at that $69,000 high, there's a chance that many people will hedge into their Ethereum because of this possible ETF approval on May the 23rd. So basically, just to summarize everything today that has happened, Bitcoin has rallied to around $66,000, $67,000 region. All coins are gaining a higher percentage of the market cap because Bitcoin's dominance is slightly dropping as well. Not that it's anything significant yet, but that's to let you know that in the future, when you follow Bitcoin dominance and there's a large drop near the top of the Bitcoin high, you're going to see a lot of people take their money and put it into the altcoin market. And that's where the alt season will officially begin. Now, there's nothing stopping Bitcoin right now from getting to $69,000. We're likely to stall there for a period of about two months of accumulation before breaking to the upside. Not only that, time is running out to buy crypto. After the two month accumulation period for Bitcoin, you will most likely not have an opportunity to buy crypto at these prices again. So I urge you strongly to make a decision and understand how these market cycles work because the last thing I want is for you to miss out on a major bull market. And lastly, Ethereum's ETF is likely to get approved on May the 23rd, so you can expect Ethereum to keep rallying to the upside. And that's it for your 10 minute update for today. I hope that I didn't take too much of your time. If you've enjoyed this content, hit the like, the subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next update. Bye now.